Welcome to Deep Thought. Seeing below the surface. You know what? One of the things that we have an issue with overall is people only go by what they see on the surface. And this could be in myriad things. I mean, people definitely do when they when they encounter other people. They go a lot on what the person's outside look like. Like, for example, you know, when they talk about the whole thing about what type of uh, women, what type of men women are attracted to, you know, you got whole channels, whole communities talking about, oh, yeah, they, they got to be tall and everything. Tall and, you know, look like a fashion model. They got to look like a Chad or a Tyrone or something, right? So, and that's totally focused on the outer. They're totally focused. And indeed, you get women who might be focused on the outer of a man, you know? And definitely men are. (laughs) Definitely men are focused on the outer of a woman. Oh, she's pretty. She's beautiful and stuff, right? You know, and then, you know, even uh, if you look at, uh, if you look at the issue of race, let's be real. People are judged not by the content of their character, but by the color of their skin. You know, Dr. Martin Luther King, I mean, he had a great idea. Hey, look at their, look at their character, what they actually doing. But let's be real. They judge, we, people, even today, even today, people are judged on the content of their skin, on myriad ways. And it's not just blacks being, like, discriminated against. You know, seriously, it happens on uh, multiple levels. Somebody might see somebody who's Hispanic and make a judgment. I knew a guy, he said, oh, wow, she Hispanic and don't have kids. That's a judgment based on the outside. Or, you know, the thing with whites. You know, every white ain't a racist. A lot of whites are like some good people, good human beings and stuff. But somebody might look at their skin color and judge them or make an assumption, you know. And you you can't. You can't. At least most people can. Now, let me be real. There is a science out there where you can read somebody's outer and tell what's going on inside with some accuracy. But I don't, I don't get into that on here. It is in that. You can tell a lot, but that that's requires serious training, uh, serious insight. And even then, they have to watch out about stereotyping, even then. Because you still, that just gives you a clue, you know. It's like, uh, you know, you got to find out what's going on inside. It's like, uh, like you could see a car, right? And the car looks real nice. The car looks great. You know, it looks great on the outside. It's clean, no scratches on it, paint job, you know, spotless. It was detailed and everything. It's just shining. And then as soon as you put that key in the engine, it's like, (laughs) you know, it's messing up because the engine, the engine ain't too good. And that's what a lot of people, in fact, that's why a lot of people get caught up. They see the house side of something, but, you know, they don't know what's going on. Like, I remember years ago when I lived in, um, I lived in Fort Washington, Maryland. Anybody familiar with that area? It's a pretty rich area. I mean, it got more modest parts, but you got some serious mansions in there, right? And I remember I I met this dude. He was an auto mechanic working on my car, and he's also like a contractor too. And I'll never forget what he said. I'll never forget. He said, yeah, you got these people, these big old homes, but you go inside One, they don't have any furniture. (laughs) They got the big homes, look great from the outside, but don't have any furniture inside. Uh, And then he also said if, you know, when it rains, they get a leak in their roof, they can't afford to fix it. So, yeah, on the outside, they look like everything was great. On the inside, no, it wasn't. And But see, you know, one of the issues is we do live in a culture that judges a lot just from the outside. Just from the outside. And indeed, you got a lot of people, they know how to make their outer self look real good. You know, they know how to wear those nice clothes. They know how to make that car look real nice. They know how to present that image. But that image ain't really them. It's a projection. Because once you get inside, you see something totally different. 
Now, you got to see below the surface. Now, remember, I said there's a science out there. Well, it's more on a holistic thing where you can get an idea, but you can still get some ideas about what's going on inside of a person. And I say I wasn't going to get too deep, but I'll give you some clues. First of all, one of the main things you want to do is don't get taken in by what you see on the outside. When you meet a person, you see it, just say, oh, okay, that looks nice. All right? See what the actions are of that person, that situation, what's going on. You know, when you see that nice-looking car, you don't know what it's really about until you're in it driving, you riding in it, either driving it or riding in it. You listening to the engine and everything, right? Or you lift up that hood and you see what's going on because they, you know, they could have got it detailed on the outside, but you lift up that hood and they ain't pay for that engine detail. <laughs> you're like, oh, wait, ugh. you know? Or you see somebody who look very healthy, right, on the outside. But inside, they, they might be dying of uh, a malignant cancer or something. So how do you tell? Well, first of all, get to, know, get to know the situation. Look below the surface. When you see that car, open that car hood up and look at the engine. Drive it around a bit. When you're dealing with that person, now it's harder with them because usually their words will try to keep up the image as well. Look at the actions. Look at the actions of the person. Like, say the person, say they make a lot of money and everything, and they look like they make a lot of money, right? And they deal with a certain class of people. Does their behavior seem like that? Does their actions seem like they're in a certain position? Their actions. Now, in order to know it, of course, you would have to be more familiar with uh, particular groups, particular subcultures and everything. That's why I say it can be done, but you would have to know. You have to get knowledge. But just pay attention. Like, okay, like here's a, here's a great example. This is and especially since I'm known for talking about relationships. Say you get a man and he said he has slept with 100 women, Right. Mm-hmm. All right, and he tried to present that image and in his words and everything of this ladies' man or anything, right? All right, pay attention to his actions when you actually see him around women. You know, is he acting shy and everything? You know, like I remember I knew this guy and he, you know, he said he had all this game, but then I watched him one time interact with a woman and I was like, hmm, that's interesting, right? Pay attention to the actions. Try to get below the surface. And it's tough. It can be tough. It takes practice. Trust me. Trust me. It takes a lot of practice. But if you develop the ability, like just practice every day to see below the surface, notice little clues. Like you can see below the surface. Pay attention. Like pay attention to body language. I'm going to tell you what with body language. And it's part of the clue of, how you can really see it. A body language and the person's words and body language should match. Seriously. Their body language should match. You got to pay attention to subliminal stuff. And it's tough, especially if you haven't done it, but you just have to pay attention. And you have to learn. You got to compare. You know? You got to really people watch and everything. And that's in any situation. Like, uh, you know, or if you're in a certain field. Or something. Like I said, with anything, you know. Like if somebody says they got like all this money and stuff and they live in a nasty looking house, you got to be like, hmm, would somebody who can actually make money and do well that way live in this type of environment? Would they? You know? Because here's the thing, to make money, to do well in life, you know, you got to have a certain amount of order in your own life. Like, for the fellas, listen, you ever go over a woman's house and she look a certain way, but it's a mess inside? That speaks to her personality. Now, to really get into seeing below the surface, I'm just giving a very brief, very brief description. It, it can't get it. But try to, try to, try to learn. You know, kick those tires. You know, see the inside of a home. You know, you can see a lot. Don't get caught up. I mean, the surface, 
yeah, it could show one thing, but try to see below it. They just try to say, okay, what else is going on? So, anyway, it's tough. So, really think about it. And like I said, though, to really, I would, you know what, get some books or something on reading people, reading situations. That's what I would say. Now, personally, I've never had to read one of those books because I grew up in an environment where um, my life depended on, like, reading a person real well. I needed to read their intentions right away. And indeed, some people who grew up in, like, really dysfunctional environments actually are very good at reading people. Unfortunately, all of them aren't good actors. And when I say act, it's good people. So anyway, what y'all think on all of this? And I'll get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings.